Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive. Today we're taking a look at a pair of shotguns. Well, technically in the game, they are shotguns. They are flare guns. We're taking a look at the flare gun, hya, and the flare gun HP, hya. They are, unless the spawn table changes, they are in home shotgun break action, flare gun HP, and flare gun. They are... They are 12 gauge, they take 12 gauge shells, and one is basically plastic, and one is metal. I'm going to show you what that means right here. Let's take a look at the controls on the flare gun, unlike other shotguns, like this one, where you press up to break the action open. You actually press left to break the action open on these. If you lean it over, it will drop an empty magazine out. Let me see what I got here. There we go. Put the mags in. Left again. We'll close it. Can you grab it and close it? No, but you can grab it and take the shell out. That's convenient. But yeah, we'll let you, won't really let you close it. Nope. Can you close it on a surface? Uh, not really. Uh, so let's just press left and that'll close it. Down on the trackbed will cock the hammer. You cannot pull the trigger and cock the hammer. Single action only hammer. Cock it and trigger to go bang. Whee! Ooh, big flash of light. Sorry about that. Left again on the trackpad will open it, but it will not eject automatically. You can lean it over or you can grab and pull it out. And there's your ejected round. So what are the difference between the plastic one and the metal one? Well, the metal one can fire all the shotgun shells. Plastic one can only fire three without exploding. So if you fire something like regular old buckshot in it, the barrel will explode and it will not work anymore. You cannot fire it. The trigger is blown off. Oh, so sad. But you can fire these three rounds in it. You can fire Dragon's Breath, you can fire Red Flare, which is just listed as Flare here, and you can actually fire Cannonball, whoops, Cannonball out of it. There. Anything else will cause it to explode. Let's see what attachments will fit. Let's start with the... No, no compensator, no suppressor. Still want that to happen though. It's got no rails, so nothing no red dots, no lasers, no barrel adapter, no shotgun sights. You can see where this is going. No, no lasers, no foregrips. Does it have a foregrippable area? No, it does not. How about a stock? No. Well, it doesn't really matter. There's no recoil on it anyway. So, no attachments, no surprises. Let's take a look at the sights. Well, let's pull the hammer down. Ah, good. When the hammer is down, it will clear the sights. And there is a rib on top of it that does stick out over the barrel ever so slightly. And that's your sight. Good luck with that. Let's take a look at the plastic one. Let's take a little look at a plastic one that isn't exploded. Whoa. Sorry about that. Okay. Cock the hammer. Same thing. It's got a little rib on it. Except in this case, it's kind of safety orange. There you go. Well, let's get a look at the spread on it with our double O buckshot at 10 meter test. Whoa, firing really high. No, even further. Hey, not too bad. 8.5, I was a little low, so if I went up a bit, I could probably improve that, but it's actually not that bad of a spread. About the same as the, uh, sawed off shotguns that we've been testing well there you have it there's the flare guns not a whole lot to it got the hp and the regular plastic one and uh they go bang till next time i'll see you Woo. oh gotta really aim down on these yeah they throw pretty good